And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the American League All-Stars taking on the mid-century groundbreakers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go now. And on the hill, Cy Young. What's the scouting report on him? Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Mantle drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. Now it's Corey Seager. From the Texas Rangers. The Chips. 1 1 now. Corey Seager. And a big swing and a miss. Two strikes. Short hop liner handled it short. Over to first. Throw not in time. It's an unlikely infield single. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap. Just like not every strikeout's a perfect slider down and away. I mean, right there, he just put the ball in play on the ground and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. Here's Mike Trout. On the ground left side. Six, four, three, double play. And the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Welcome back. Getting the nod in this one, Shohei Otani. What do you have on him? Yeah, Boog, when you're a teammate of a guy like this, you love when it's his turn to pitch. He's out there on the mound carrying himself with a ton of confidence. That gives other guys confidence that, hey, the other team's not going to score much. All we've got to do is have good at-bats, put up some runs, and we should be able to get a win. He's got some of the best stuff around the league, so if he's on, he has the ability to control the game, and guys aren't really going to get much to hit. And down on strikes. One gone, bottom half of the first. So digging in, Mickey Mantle. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. All right, Singy, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 oh, pitches. Get this. 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball popped up. Young tracks it down for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Willie Mays. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. And the pitch struck him out swinging. Gassed it right by him. Scoreless after one. Back now at Southside Park. Here's the veteran outfielder, Aaron Judge. Two and one on Judge. Good eye right there. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now it's Randy Arozarena. Randy Arozarena. And the right-hander deals. Hit hard, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. That is good. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. To second, there's one. Relay to first, double play. 
for me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. So now two on and two outs. And here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. The next pitch misses, and the count is filled up. Shohei Otani, the kind of bat that can make a big impact if they can keep it going here. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the right fielder, Hank Aaron. The 2-1. Fought off foul. Singy Shohei Otani has been as advertised rookie of the year in 18 MVP in 21 he has impacted the game in a major way and then of course he was on the cover of MLB the show in 2022 well he's doing something that we've never seen really? done before and just absolutely phenomenal that he can be that dominant on the mound and be one of the top hitters in the game in just watching that, it, it, it's got to take your breath away a little bit if you're a manager or a teammate to see this actually happening before your eyes. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. That MVP I mentioned about Otani in 2021, he was actually a unanimous MVP. And the first unanimous AL MVP since Mike Trout in 2014. Other guys that have done that, Ken Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, Frank Robinson. So up next, Ernie Banks. Pickoff throw, Hank, back on a dive. The pitch. Steel, steel, Rudder steel. takes off. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Throw to second and he's out. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Two two now. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. Three and two. Payoff pitch. In the air to left center. Makes the grab. And that is that. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back. On to the third inning. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Next offering is down low. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. A wind in the pitch. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. And a base hit into right center field. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that AB. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. On the corner for a strike, and it's one and two. Otani aboard here at first with nobody out. In the dirt. And the runner stays where he is. Move to first. Otani back in.
2 2 now. Simeon waits, stays alive. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Kicks and deals. Line drive, caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it yeah, takes yeah. away. He did everything yeah. right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. So now it's Corey Seeger reached on an infield single his first time. Shohei on the go. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on them and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Man at second. On the ground. Banks. And Seeger is set down. Here's Trout, over one so far. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. That one fouled off, two and two. And the pitch. Got him swinging. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the left fielder, Ralph Kiner. The left fielder, Ralph Kiner. Here's a 1 1. That one fouled off. Pitch misses, and it's two and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And now here is Johnny Bench, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. That one inside. Now two balls and a strike. And now two and two. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. On the ground the first. Diaz takes it to the bag. Two up, two down. Batting the third Here's some team. real power Eddie. at the plate. Eddie Matthews. Matthews. Left-hand batter waits. That one down the line, and that's just foul. One, two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. The one, two, and misses inside. And that skips in the dirt. Smash to the left side. Tosses to first. Matthews gone on the play. And that's the third out. As we go to the top of the fourth, here is Aaron Judge. The right number 99. Aaron. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. The 2-1. And yeah, there's a the ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. 
and that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. One, two now. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. Here's Josh Young. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. A Rosarena, the runner at first with two gone. Check on the runner. No, he's safe. Back over to first. And he's back in that time as well. Again to first. And no luck this time either. The 1 1. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. In the air to left, down the line. Bounces over the wall in foul ground. It's an automatic double. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break, but look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position, so they'd love another base hit right here. Now, here is Jonah Heim. Two outs two in scoring position. And the righty deals. On the ground to first. Flips it. Third out. AL leaves a pair, and we are still scoreless. Bottom of the fourth, here's the second baseman, Jackie Robinson. The second baseman, Jackie. At the belt and fires. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. 3-1 is on the way. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base no is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Throw to second. See? That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. That misses. Full count now. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. A game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So two outs with runners on the corners. Stepping in the long ball threat, Lou Gehrig. Strike on the inside corner. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. Two on, two outs. And another two ball. ball. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. In the air, out towards 
Left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Through four. Still. Welcome back. And now the DH, Shohei Otani. The designated hitter, Shohei Otani. That one missed. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Good eye in that spot. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Swing and a miss struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here is Marcus Simeon. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. There's a strike. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The wind of the pitch. Hot shot to third. Matthews gets it to it. first. And that quickly, two away. Now that is. Seeger stands in now. This guy has turned into a beast. And a 1-1. One -one. Swings and misses. And the count's even at two. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. And now it's three and two. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Corey Seager leaves the yard. And they jump out front. It's one nothing. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. Well, you can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but he got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive. Right side. Aaron on his horse. Stretches out and hauls it in. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And the home. Back here at Southside Park. John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Ernie Banks. Next pitch misses way outside. Now on this three ball count down in the ball game. You've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Righty delivers. And that one clips the corner. Well, in this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Righty to the plate. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Stepping in, Johnny Bench. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The groundbreakers hitless so far in the game. 
The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Two on, one out. Here's the third baseman, Eddie Matthews. And he deals. And he takes a strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And that one is lifted in the air. Judge has it sized up. He's got it. There's two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking okay. forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Here's a speed threat. Jackie Robinson, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up, and that ends the inning. He's through five without allowing a hit. We're through five. Back now at Southside Park. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. And a pitch. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. And it's even up. Activity in the bullpen. Bob Feller, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Spawn, the lefty, warming up as well. In the air, out to center. Jackie moves under it. Hauls it in for the out. So digging in, Randy or Rosarena. Up next to the American League, the left The 3-1. And it's fouled away. Hard hit, but right at him and left. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. Yandy Diaz now. Ball on a strike. Man, this guy's got a One great ball. feel for his breaking ball today. Hit on the ground to the right side. Oh, and foul ball. That's ripped. Base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now two and one. Diaz off the of first with two away. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Bottom of the six. And now the big time power threat, Mickey Mantle. And a pitch. And now two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. He swings and fouls one off. Next pitch is outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Rip to first, caught. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Now it's the DH, Willie Mays. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good no patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. So here's the cleanup hitter, Hank Aaron. 
This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Number 78 getting loose out there. Kirby, a hard-throwing right-hander up as well. Next offering upstairs. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. And a foul ball. And a pitch. To third might be two. Beats to second out there. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Bob Feller gets the ball now. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Got him. And there are two outs. Well, oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. The 1-1 is fouled off. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Next pitch misses, and a count two and one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Grabs it on the run, and that'll do it. A.O. leaves one. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Luke Eric. The first baseman. Left-hand hitter waits. That's a little bit low. Good eye right there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, it might be time to dig into that bullpen. He's looking a little fatigued to me. Now it's the shortstop, Ernie Banks. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. The pitch. That one out to right. Judge is there. Makes the catch, and there's one down. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Otani will depart. He exit. Pitching change here, number 78. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And here it comes. Grounder might be two. Over to second for one. A one-pitch double play out of the pen. Inning over. And now batting Mike Trout. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. 
pitch misses inside and it's two and one fans come to the ballpark to watch him play and in baseball to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does just a joy to watch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here comes Aaron Judge. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. Pitch misses there, and the count's full. Hits for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. Two out, space is empty. Now the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. And there's ball four. Ball four. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Checks over to first, back safely. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fly ball down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. American. Bottom of the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Johnny Bench. And this lineup is still hitless as we begin the eighth. The tying run at the plate. Oh, wow. nice play. Gathers and throws. And they get the out. Big play there to get the leadoff, man. A quick move to his left, fully extended there in front of the shortstop to make the grab. Up with it, then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. And from Valdez into the game. He's into the game with the bases empty. The wind of the pitch. Movement in the bullpen, Felix Bautista. The closer is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. Here's a one-two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Welcome back. We go to the ninth, and now Josh Young. Gonna count one and two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Next offering misses. It's two and two. Action in the pen down there. Al Newhauser preparing to come on if needed. Just off the inside edge. And now filled up. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. No, very close with the location right there. It's just tough to get rewarded on the call with pitches near the top of the strike zone. Jonah Heim digs in now. Right-handed reliever. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw. Got him. What a laser from Johnny Bench. Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game. Trying to add on to that lead. You know, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. And down on strikes. Two away. Up next Two outs. Base is empty. Here's Shohei Otani. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. The 2-1. And he pumps it a strike. Ah! 
And now the count filled up three and two. Marcus Simeon to bat next. Payoff pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets. Felix Bautista takes over on the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Here's the center fielder, Mickey Mantle. Everyone's attention on the no-hit bid now. Three tough outs to get. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Three outs from a no-hitter. Yeah, the one-two misses to even the count. Swung on, belted. Trout raging back towards the wall. Puts it away for the out. Just two more outs to go in this bid for a no-hitter. And physically, there's probably some fatigue, but mentally, which might be what's most important, he seems as strong now as he's been all game. I'm sure the adrenaline is fully ramped up at this point as well. The pitch. Check swing, no appeal. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. The pitch. And a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Got him! Now only one out remaining. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Hank Aaron. And the no hit bid comes down to this. One more out to get. And the no-hitter just one out away. You nope. can only imagine the nerves that some of the defensive players have right now. You've got to have the mindset, I want the ball hit to me, but in front of that, you hope that he strikes the hitter out. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that does it. It's a no-hitter. Well, no-hitters are awesome, but there's something really fun and cool about a combined no-hitter. What a great day to be at the ballpark. These guys got the W. That's what's most important.